What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate on Microsoft Teams, and we're going to look at an action which is post a, an adaptive card to a Microsoft Teams channel and wait for a response. So we previously looked at a similar action which was post an adaptive card to a user. This one actually posts it to a channel. So you can post it to a specific channel in a team and then any member of that team can then go ahead and like update that card or just see that card if it's just a notification. So let's take a look at it today. I'm in Power Automate. I have a manual triggered flow because I don't need any other data. And then I can click on New Step. Go to Microsoft Teams. And I can scroll down until we find the one which is post an adaptive card to a Teams channel and wait for a response preview. So this is a preview action, uh, as with a lot of the actions for Microsoft Teams, things may change, things may uh, be updated, uh, and essentially it just there may be some you know um, warnings to be used if you're going to try and use this in production. Now it's going to ask me for a couple of parameters. It's going to ask me for the team. So the team, I'm going to choose my MCJ demo team. It's the team we've been using for a lot of these videos. And then I can choose channel. And the channel is going to update based on that team. So I've got two channels. I've got the general channel and I've got the flow test channel, the, the actual channel we created using Microsoft Flow. So we'll choose that channel as well. We're going to put it. Next, we can actually use a message and a, 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 like a message, which is a key and a value. This is so we could tie outside data to keys inside of an adaptive card. I'm not going to use that in this instance, but if you want to learn all about creating adaptive cards, I did make a video on them here, which I'll link. Um, so we'll create the adaptive card. What we'll do is we will create a new one. Uh, we'll start from blank. We'll throw a container on there. And we will put in a text block. And then in the text block, we'll put some text and we'll say, uh, hey, um, this is an adapt adaptive card from, from Microsoft Power Automate. Yay. So we'll do that. Then we will add a, um, let's add in a text input. Uh, and we'll say, so this requires an ID, so we'll use uh, name.id, name ID, uh, and the text will put um, full name. And then we'll do something like a toggle. So we'll toggle an input. And in the toggle input, um, we will, uh, so this again has no ID, so we'll put tog ID. Um, the true value went on, value went off, so we'll just say yeah, true and false, that's fine, I'll say yes and no, yes, no, no, do this. Uh, default value, we can set it or not set it, uh, and the title put, um, did you um, want food? Uh, so we'll do that, and then what we will do is we will add a submit on. So again, with adaptive cards, we can add all of these things on, but until we actually put an action onto this card, um, or actually do that, until we add an action to this container, it's not going to do anything. So we'll hit submit. Action submit one, we will change that to be submit. Uh, ID, we'll just put submit. ID, we don't need an ID for this one, um, but that's all we'll do. And then we'll save the card, so we'll save it. We can now see this says edit adaptive card, and then we have two other things that we can put into the parameters. So one of them is an update message, so we could say uh, thank you for submitting. And we also have the option of should the card update. So if it doesn't update, it kind of stays the same. If it does update, it changes, so we'll say yes to this. And then we'll test this out. So we'll click on test. I'll perform a trigger action, we'll save and test. We will run the flow, click done. And then see it's got the little orange icon to see that it's waiting at the moment. And we'll go up to our Microsoft Teams. We can see the flow test channel here. This has an adaptive card. And it's like, hey, this is an adaptive card, enter your full name. So Matt Collins. Collins Jones, 
do you want food? Yes, I'd like food. Uh, and we'll go submit. We'll click submit. And then the crowd will update. I'll say thank you for submitting. So notice this has gone to a channel. So the difference between posting this to a user and to a channel is that anyone, any one of the users can submit this back. So this is especially good for collaboration, where you may need a channel that is designed kind of like for a specific team, and you may need adaptive cards to join and monitor certain situations, gather some quick inputs and outputs, and then send them back to, uh, to Power Automate to do something. So that's why this is really useful. We'll drive to the flow for a second. We can see it's up 28 seconds. We can see the person that responded to it, that was me. Um, we can see the display name. We can see what I submitted. So my Thomas Jones, we submitted yes. Um, to that toggle, so we, we were setting that value when we clicked it uh, as the positive value. Uh, didn't really work very well with that um, idea, but you know, just to show you some more parts of adaptive cards. Um, and yeah, we get we get all the outputs and stuff like that. So this is this is a handy tool and a handy action in Power Automate. It allows us to send things to a channel and gather inputs from anyone. It's still going to record who's inputting these things and who submitted them, so we can still take that data and do something with it. Um, but yeah, this is a great action. That's what I would use it for, but as always, I want to know what you guys use it for, so let me know in the comments down below all your different use cases, how you use it, how you, you know, what your ideas are for it. Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, if you could like it and share it with your friends, that would be appreciated. If you've not already, click the subscribe button and stay up to date on my latest videos, and I'll see you next time.